Hi everyone, this is John O'Bacon, the Ubuntu Community Manager, and welcome to yet another video uh, interview here in Dallas in the USA. We're here for a week, a bunch of Ubuntu developers working together on Natty, of course. And today, I'm really, really happy to introduce uh, Jason Warner. Jason is the new desktop engineering manager. So those of you, many of you who love the Ubuntu Desktop Edition, um, all the engineers who work on that, this is their boss, okay? So, uh, so Jason, welcome. How how are you settling into the new job? Oh, pretty good. I mean, I've been here just under three months at this point. It's a, kind of in a whirlwind, drink from the fire hose, all those <laughs> things you might say, but uh, it's been great. You know, it's a, quite an experience. Well, you, 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 you took over from Rick Spencer, who is now the... The legendary Rick Spencer. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's that. three He's of my boss. Um, I need to put he is to legendary. He's such a nice guy. Uh, <laughs> so you've 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 taken over from Rick. I mean, how are you? How are you? I mean, that's pretty big shoes to fill. How are you finding it? Good. It's it's interesting because Rick is Rick. Rick did a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm I'm starting to gather Rick was involved in a lot of different things. And the desktop manager and desktop team in general are all over the place. They have to deal with a lot of different aspects of, of Ubuntu and a lot of different aspects of the distro. So knowing all those different pieces has been you know, a learning curve and understanding the relationships with the upstreams right. and things like that. So it's been a, a learning curve, but it's been a great learning curve. I love it. You know, it's, a, it's such a good job. It's such a fun job. I mean, I almost wonder why Rick gave it up. <laughs> well, you know, we are not to understand these things. But so talk about the team. I mean, who's explain to everyone who's who's on your team, sure. what kind of stuff they work on. Sure. We've, we've got some uh, some of the old timers, from what I understand, people uh, with Ubuntu. We've got Martin Pitt, Pitty, we've got um, Sebastian, 7128, we've got um, Didier Rocha, Did Rocks. I mean, there's some some great guys. We've got, we got the guys maintaining the software center, we've got all the X and Mesa guys, and Bryce, and, um, and Ralph, and Chris, Chris Alts Rogers. Yeah. And, uh, you know, all over the place. We've got everybody. It's, uh, a, it's a pretty eclectic team. It's, it's yeah. I mean, you know, it seems like one of those teams that almost intimidating to manage, right? Because they're such rock stars. I mean, I have obviously the same problem with uh, with these guys, George behind the camera as well, obviously. But I mean, did you find that when you joined? Did you find that you were a little bit intimidated about I, 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 like I seven p? One hundred percent say that I was intimidated going to UDS. UDS is my first day. <laughs> uh, these guys, I didn't know what to expect, but it was so easy. It was it was such an easy transition because they were so wonderful. Right. You know, there was there. No one had an attitude. No one had any sort of expectations or superiority complex. Or anything. Everyone wanted to get something done, and they wanted to build the best thing possible. Yeah. It was, it, you know, a manager of the desktop team is essentially just okay. What is in your way at this point? You don't have to really manage them. They know what they're doing. They've been doing it forever, and they do a great job. So the team kind of looks after itself in some yeah. ways, right? I mean, they're they're fantastic. They've, they've been helping me a lot mostly. So so your you know your first full cycle and. Uh, and Unity's coming in as, as, as the new interface. I mean, this is a big deal, right? Yeah. You I mean, talk about trial by fire, but how, what do you feel about it? How do you feel the the work is going into that? One? I think the work's progressing, right? I think we're where we are in the cycle is good. I mean, this rally came at a perfect time because everything was coming together. We needed to get a couple of things done. This is a perfect week to get these things done. But Unity itself is is at a point where I think there's probably not a person at the rally who's not using it on a daily basis. Mm. You know, every, maybe. Maybe an update or two will break X, Y, or Z, but at the same point, you know, it's usable as an everyday desktop at this point, which is fantastic. So there's been a, there's a lot of work going into it on the on things like um, obviously it's been ported to Comp is um, there's accessibility work going into yeah. it, making sure that it's um, integrating nicely with you know with, with GDM and and that the classic session is loaded when 3D support isn't there. There's lots of these little bits and pieces. Do you feel like they're all starting to mold together now in Natty, or do you think that it's how how on track would you say it is? Well, I, I, my feeling is we're, we're really on track. I mean, if everyone's, been, if you, if anyone out there's been following our releases, the the Alpha One, and you know we haven't gotten to Alpha Two yet, but then Alpha One and the dailies, you can see where this is going. It's very obvious when it's come, how it's coming together. And what I like best is that you know you start using it and you pick up on maybe an annoyance here or you know a tweak that needs to happen there, but they're not like wholesale things that are just missing or yeah. broken or or fundamentally wrong. There's right. you know oh this could be tweaked. Oh, this could be done a little better, or maybe what have you thought about this? Yes, we have here. This, here's why we didn't choose to go with that. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, you can definitely see how it's coming together, and it feels good. I mean, every day when you use this, it feels good. Not to mention that you know when you have it on a very bright, vivid screen, it's beautiful. It's, yeah, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, so another big change that's getting a lot of press, of course, is, is, is the switch to Banshee. Yeah. Um, 
Senor Castro is a big fan of this. Um, a little bit. A little bit. Um, uh, so, um, you know, what, what are your thoughts on it? I mean, what are your thoughts on the change? Some people are saying, well, Rhythm Box is all right. I mean, yeah, why Banshee? Uh, the way I look at this and the way I want to approach any app selection in the future is best user experience. It doesn't necessarily have, have to have legacy. It doesn't necessarily have to have any other thing other than will this application give us the best user experience? Right. You know, a lot of go, a lot of different choice goes into that too. You have to look at you know health of the ecosystem of the, the project itself. Um, you know whether it's going to have a future or not in the future. You want to make sure it's supported things like that. But you know fundamentally, you want to be, give your users the best experience possible. And we felt that Banshee this time definitely did that. You right. know, it was one of those that bring it all together. It had Tick all the boxes. Pieces. Yeah. Gotcha. So um, there's obviously been some, there's you know, in, in some quarters of the internet, there's some critics who, who believe that mono is um, is a technology we shouldn't be embracing, that it's risky because of, of you know a Microsoft agenda or whatever it might be. Um, what, what's your take on that? I mean, what would be your response to people who would say, "Hang on a second, why are you shipping Banshee? It's 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 written in mono." I, I, I can see their perspective a little bit, but at the We've, the due diligence was done in Hana. Everyone, everyone went through legal, they went through the license, everyone looked at this, and it, it passed. Given that, that it passed, that should be a non-issue, as far as I'm concerned. So when we look at app selection, I don't really want to talk about what it's written in, because quite frankly, I want that to be opaque to people. I want them to look at the application for the application, right. not, oh, I'm not going to use a QT app, or no, I'm not going to use a GTK app, no, I'm not going to use a mono app. I want to use the best app possible, don't care what it's written in. Right, just so it delivers the right experience. Exactly. Right experience for the user. Absolutely. So where do you see, I mean, where do you see the future of the desktop? I mean, people, I mean, this is something, I'm sure you're going to get this question a lot yeah. as, you, as you continue to rock and roll with your role, if that made any sense. Um, you know, where, where do you see the future? I mean, where would you like to see the Ubuntu desktop go? It's very similar to actually where we are right now for the Rally for Unity, and what I see Linux desktop, Ubuntu desktop in general in the future. And... I've been using Linux now since 94, 95, Slackware. And one of the things I could say is that I, I, I loved that system for what it was. I, I got rid of you my... Like, you like 40 floppy disks? <laughs> but on the back of that Sam's, Sam's blow case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. The Slackware unleashed. Yeah. That's my first book. Exactly, window maker, baby. Yeah. Window maker. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you watch it over the years, as you watch everything progress, you can see how it's getting better, more stable, more usable, you know, you could print, you could do all those sorts of things. But what it wasn't really doing was advancing desktop metaphors, advancing usability on the desktop. Right. And it wasn't making leaps and bounds. We've been stuck in this, kind of the same approach and metaphor for a long time. You just changing a lot of that, or maybe adapting a lot of that for desktop. But what we still lack in some ways, and where some of the desktop competitors have an advantage over us in terms of, you know, like to say OS X, is that there's a little bit more polish, a little bit, you know, maybe a lot more put into uh, edge cases. Right. And I think that that's something we should focus on. We've got to focus on um, finish and polish. And I keep saying this to, to people if, you know, if they listen to me. Yeah, but I, would, I just want to make sure that little things are taken care of. Consistencies in the UI, cons you know, making sure things look the same across machines or themes or making sure button placements are kind of consistent making sure that if, if you pull the menu in this application, it looks similar to the menu in this application and things like that. Right. Now, obviously that's a long-term type of approach and it's a, it, there's no <coughs> specifics involved in that, but it's more of a framework for, for decision-making. Right, gotcha. And then, you know, taking a similar approach with application selection, things like that. So speaking of applications, um, how much do you interact with, you know, people like Shotwell and, and the GStreamer people and uh, the Firefox people? I mean. The well, folks from upstreams and things like that. Yeah, the desktop team is involved and discuss involved in discussions with those guys all the time. I myself have not been too involved, and that's something I'm hoping to fix end of the cycle going forward, the next UDS, the next cycle. But uh, the involvement has been great. Those those projects have been super, and that's one of the best things that I've seen about coming out as a desktop manager is seeing the interaction with upstreams and people who really truly care about the distribution, uh, the distros and distributions and things like that, just for the, the sake that they want to make something great. Yeah. You know, it's, you, you want, all the errors are gone, all the pretension is gone, hey, what do we do? How do we make this better? It's, yeah, it's cool seeing, you know, like, for example, the Shotwell folks at UDS and, you know, a bunch, of, a, bu a bunch of different upstream yeah, folks from UDS really. and seeing them get excited about, uh, as excited about Ubuntu as we are excited about their application. Yeah, exactly. Um, and seeing that kind of relationship flesh out. Yeah. Things. 
So um, I think we're going to wrap it up there. Thanks, thanks, Jason, for joining us, and you, keep rocking and rolling. And uh, we'll be back with more interviews this week. Stay tuned.